Hey everyone, it's Erica and I am back with another process video. Today I will be using the October 2016 Clip Kit. This kit featured some Pink Fresh Studio and right now I'm just showing you some photos of the October kit. If you're interested in this kit, I will leave a link down below and you can pick it up in the Clip Kits shop. We do have a handful of them left. So if you're interested, head on over and pick one up. I'm also going to be using a cut file that I got, I believe it was a free download from 17 Turtles, um, designed by Juliana Michaels, and I'm showing you the cut file there. And I will leave the link down below, so if you're interested in this, you can pick it up. Here are the papers that I'm going to be using, and these are all the papers that I have left of the kit, and then some of the embellishments, and a couple embellishments from my stash I pulled out, and here's some die cut pieces. So I went ahead and cut the cut file out of white cardstock and backed it with some of the papers in the kit. Oh, here's a look at the completed kit that we have in the Click Kit Shop. Um, so like I said, I backed it with the papers that I had left in the kit. And it did take uh, some time, so I didn't film that. But I just traced around the flowers, or the, the flowers, the butterflies, um, and then cut them out and then adhered them to the back of the cut file. I'm going to use a white cardstock base, and I'm going to pop the cut file, pop it up with some foam tape from Tombow. The photo that I'm using is a photo of my daughter and one of my brothers. This was her preschool graduation and my brother, this brother particular, um, his name is John, she calls him Uncle Nana, is her, is her world. That's her favorite uncle and um, they, have, they have a bond, special bond. And he lived with us about a year, year and a half maybe, at one point in time, and she was um, not even a year old. So she became very attached to him, and she would wait for him to get off of work or to wake up in the morning, and she spent a lot of time down with him in his room, just hanging out, watching TV, watching wrestling, and they became very, very close, and it was hard when he did move out um, for her, and um, he still made a point to come and get her during the week or on the weekends. They would go and have lunch or shopping or just have little dates. And it's really important to her. And she, she just loves him to death. Now that she's a little older, she acts like it's just Uncle Nana. Not a big deal. But she loves him very much. And you can tell. She asks about him all the time. And, and she loves him. So I want to make a book of her and all the photos that I have of the two of them together. And then give it to her and then give him one as well. This is one of his favorite photos. I had been going through photos and I sent it to him and and he he loves this picture. So this was her preschool graduation and he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to make it. He had to work that day and it was like right after work hours and he ended up showing up. He was in his work clothes and he was dirty, but he made it and it, it just made her day. As soon as she saw him come in and sit down, you could just see her face. She just like lit up like a Christmas tree. It was so cute. So I got a picture of the two of them. And I'm going to scrap it. Um, I'm just adding layers behind the photo. <clears throat> Some of the layers that I, I used are uh, the exclusive journal cards that come in the kit. And then also I used a bunch of scraps from the paper uh, that I had left over. You could see that some of them had shapes punched out of them and stuff. And I like to use those to just add tiny bits of paper poking out. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a full piece to make a big, you know, impact. So there's like yellow pieces sticking out and really those <clears throat> yellow pieces are pretty tiny but you know you you're not gonna know that um, when you look at it you're gonna think it's a full layer when really it's just a strip of yellow paper so um, I don't throw away those little scraps because they make great layers <clears throat> I'm also sorry <clears throat> my voice I'm also gonna add some thread um, to the top and the bottom corner of my photo some white thread I just like the way that it looks peeking out and then I'm gonna adhere my photo down So right now I am just taking some of the ephemera that I have here and adding it around my photo. Uh, this ephemera is the ephemera from Pink Fresh Studio that uh, matches the collection. So I'm just going to add a couple pieces around my photo. I did a couple florals and I'm going to take this big floral piece right here and I'm going to cut it in half and put one up at the top and then one at the bottom, kind of where I have the threads poking out. And I'm going to use this adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives to put that down. I don't use a lot of florals and I struggle with using florals. 
And um, my friend Sandra, who's O Snap Gonzo on YouTube, uses florals all the time. And she's like, girl, just stick it down. Put it put it down. Cut it in half and put one here, put one there. And she does a good job at just sticking a ephemera down. And I always struggle. And when we Skype and scrap together, I'm like, I don't know if this, I can't do this. And she's like, girl, just put it down. So I'm getting better at just putting the florals down, but it's still hard for me. Sometimes I think it's too much, but then at the end I look at it, I'm like, no, I probably could have added a little bit more. So I'm just going to continue to add ephemera and a couple puffy stickers. Um, you saw in the video, I don't know if you saw it, um, but I use my Xyron runner a lot to add adhesive to the backs of my um, ephemera pieces. It's just quick and easy for me. And that's my completed layout. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave links down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a question down below or you can um, send me a message, erica at clickkits.com. If there's anything special that you would like to see or any kind of technique or process that you'd like me to do, please uh, let me know. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel, guys. Uh, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.